Hello everybody, in today's video, I've got something really epic to add to my stash. And it's not just me that's going to be building it. More to come. You want to know what it is? Make sure you stay tuned. Hello BSC family and welcome back to my bench. Well, today I have a stash ad and an unboxing for you. So it might be a little longer, not a big deal. But there's also something special about this that's going to happen in conjunction of what this is. I know it sounds confusing, right? But you'll understand more as long as you stay tuned and uh, hear everything. So you're gonna wanna watch right to the end. Make sure that uh, if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button for me hit that like button also hit that bell button so you don't miss out on anything give me a follow on my instagram and my facebook group links for them are down in the description also if you want to help out in the channel because things like this kit here are not cheap i do have a paypal me link down there and you could also pick up some merch at the teespring store if you want i have shirts stickers hats coffee cups all kinds of stuff for you to embellish and wear and use on your bench and also if you want a shop card or a sticker my email is down in the description send me an email with your address and i'll send one out to you so with all that let's get this out of the way and bring in what i've got over here so what i went and picked up is this a wood sail ship this is the san francisco 2 so this here, I've never done a wood ship. Um, this thing here is a 190 scale. Mm, camera can't pick it up over here. 190 scale. We are 26 and a half inches long. Uh, basically 21 inches high. And I will say nine and a half inches wide. Right? Comes with some figures. Um, you can check out... Uh, Check them out on Facebook and Instagram, YouTube. Uh, this company has its own YouTube channel. All right, there it is. Okay, so yes, this is what I uh, what I picked up. Now I'm going to be building this, and I'm going to show you what's in the box. But this here, um, I've already done some photocopying for Dad. Dad, uh, I'm going to put a, uh, a playlist on my channel my dad is going to build this as well but he's not building this one he's going to take the plans and he's going to enlarge it five times so it's going to be five times the size of this of course now he's going to build this out in his shop um, it's probably going to take a few years to do so just like this one will and uh, once he gets to a certain point he'll have to move the ship outside of the shop is I think it's going to end up roughly 12 to 15 feet long from end to end. And uh, yeah, plus the masts. Well, he can't do the masts and stuff in the shop. So, you know, at some point he'll have to move the hull itself outside and start doing everything else. And uh, we're going to record that, record his process on how he's going to make things um, and his way of, of making stuff. Now, I'll probably have to make some stuff for it, too, uh, or help them with it, whichever. Uh, we're not sure what we're going to do with the sails for that big. I'm not sure if he's even putting sails on it. Um, but we'll have to figure out the dimension of rope that he will need to make his rigging. Um, you know, all the dead eyes, all the blocks and tackles, everything's all going to be handmade. Uh, all the trim on it. Now, I'll show you what's inside the box here and tell you what my plans are. Now I have taken all the plastic off just to help with filming, uh, you know, less glare and I don't have to fight with the damn plastic on camera. So as you can see, there is a lot in this box, right? So first off, we've got all these dowels and everything else, right? This is your uh, mast and yards and numerous other things. Like I said, I haven't built a wood ship, so there's going to be a lot more in this stuff here that I have no clue what it's for. But I mean, I'm assuming that uh, 
a lot of this is all your decking and final planking on the sides, things like that. All right. And then we got this bundle, which I believe is all your structure planking. So this would be the planking you put down first, uh, sand and smooth before you put this really stu thin stuff on. Uh, really thin, uh, looks like walnut maybe. Uh, it's really thin, so that'll be your finished planking on the outside. All right. Here we've got some stickers. Uh, looks like imitated fabric, or maybe even sticky fabric. We've got our all our uh, rigging here. I'm not going to take all this out because uh, you know you'll see it as we build it. This kit comes with the sails. Okay. So we've got the sails here, and it also comes with some photo etch. All right, you see that? A pretty cool photo etch. Got the nameplate there, San Francisco too. You know, so it looks like a lot of this is probably things like the rudder hinges, um, the hatch doors for the guns and the gun barrels and all that stuff. You know, probably a bunch of numerous other things. So, you got some lion lion figures here on the sides. So yeah, we'll. Uh, now, of course, in each plastic container, these are still sealed in plastic, and I'm going to leave them that way, just so we don't accidentally open this and lose our minds trying to find all this shit once it hits the floor. Well, we got wire in here with a little more rigging in there. We got all the spindles and stuff for railings. Uh, we got dead eyes, blocks. You know, it looks like singles. Yeah, we got single blocks, triple blocks. We got some other ones in here. Some chain. Some barrels and cannonballs, a bunch of pins and all kinds of stuff. We got all the eye hooks and stuff. Now, if you've ever built any of these, uh, let me know. You know, is there any tips and tricks that, uh, you know, I could learn from you? Or maybe you know of other videos that maybe I should watch that, uh, you know, might help me along this journey of building a wood ship for the first time. So in here, we've got the metal parts. Uh, we've got cannon barrels, doors, uh, medallions, looks like a whole bunch of cannonballs, uh, looks like, uh, oh, that's the men, because this comes with a bunch of men in here. We got, uh, looks like all the uh, belay pins and doors, the anchors, hopefully I'm in screen. Uh, God knows what those are, looks like other cannons, all oh, those might be the uh, bow cannons and stuff, the deck cannons. <clears throat> so, there's all kinds of stuff in here. There's even all kinds of tiny little things in here. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to take it all out. But yeah, don't want to lose nothing. Then we get into the actual laser cut stuff, which is actually quite nice from the looks of it. Now, again, I've never done a whole bunch of wood stuff. So we got the laser cut, you know, all the decking and stuff like that, that, uh, or your sub decking. I really don't know what everything is or called. I mean, we've got bulkheads and different decks and all kinds of stuff here. Here we've got some of the finished sides that are going to go on. Uh, looks like the cannon, uh, the cannon wheels kind of thing, like the trending wheels. I'm not sure what that. Oh, that's uh, the jig for the little rowboat or whatever that goes on. And uh, there's nothing. Nothing's actually missing out of here, out of these ones, right? Uh, it's actually the way it is. I've already looked at, you know, I wanted to make sure everything was here. Nothing was broken. So, you know, I didn't have to either reorder or send it back. So here we've got all the uh, the ribs and everything for the, to make your hull, your hull shape. Now, this is what I photocopied from my dad. We took photocopies of this stuff. And on graph paper so that uh, he can line it all up and then he can use the graph paper to enlarge it in the shop so that he can make all his ribs. Now, from what I understand, he's going to be making not this whole thing, but he'll be making things like the actual rib on the side, on both sides, and then a piece that'll go across, right? That's the way he'll do each, each rib is he'll laminate pieces of wood together to make all of this stuff. He's not going to have just a big thing. I mean, the cost of wood nowadays, 
I mean, it cost you thousands of dollars to try and do it exactly like this. So he's going to, in a sense, eliminate some of the fat, right? So he'll do one side and he'll do the other side, put that, attach that to the keel, and then he'll do the, the one going across here, you know, things like that. So that's this one, right? All the different parts for that. Same thing with this. Um, he's not going to be, he'll have to try and figure this out. Because this would cross through the keel, which is here. So he's going to make just the keel, right, down here. And his ribs will attach to that instead of a slot like this one is. Which means when he builds this, that'll be where the floor is, you know, blah, blah, blah. He'll probably put spacers in between each one. So going from here to here, you know, between each one, he'll have to make these pockets here for the um the masts be a little more figuring out for him but i mean that's what he's done all his life is carpentry and everything else so it shouldn't be uh too hard for him i mean he's in the shop right now i don't know if you can hear table saws and stuff going but he's making a uh six to seven foot lighthouse uh, i just did all the leds for it there the other day or a bunch of them anyways there's still more to do uh, he's got planters and all that stuff. So we're hoping to get him used to doing recording, YouTube type of thing, where at some point maybe he can start its own channel. And I mean, he is 73 years old, so he's doing pretty good in trying to get him into this type of technology and doing this type of stuff. You know, I'd probably help him out with the editing. But hey, you know, if we can get him that one step further, we're doing good. But for now... We'll do the recording for him and editing and stuff, and he can just do his thing. But he's going to build this at least five times this size. So whatever scale this is, he's going to scale it up by five. Here we have the uh, the grates on the deck that, uh, you know, you pull your hatches off so you lo load your cargo and stuff. So that's all your great grating bars, right? This one here, like I said, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's probably doesn't really have names. It's more of, uh, you know, stuff that you'll glue on on the inside to help support other stuff. So it's doesn't actually really have a name. It's just extra parts that need to be put in. Here we've got, you know, like your mast holders, your joiners. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, that looks like the the gun. Possibly the gun. Uh, the bear, like the cannon, I don't know what you call them. You know, the thing with the wheels on it and everything, the cannon sits on it. Yeah, that thing. Anyway, it uh, looks like parts of the crow's nest. You know, there's a couple crow's nests. Probably some supports or maybe joiners. I, I don't know. That could be part of the crow's nest. Or maybe a template for the crow's nest. Right, X and Y, two different ones. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. And you're you're going to be along for the ride. This is, again, i got to finish the cutty first. It's sitting right over there. i got to get back to it. See, sitting right there. And it's coming along. Be more videos coming out on that here pretty soon. So just stay patient with me. Uh, we're getting into the rigging with that thing soon here. So, yeah, it's, those videos are going to slow down quite a bit. But anyways, here's just a, you know, layout so that... Uh, you know where all your parts are and this and that. Actually, you have everything you need. All right. Then, I'm not sure why there's two. Maybe part one, part two. Looks like maybe the, the hull construction and the uh, the mass and rigging and sails. Two different discs. So, the instructions are on there, which is kind of cool. And then this thing, well, uh, this here is a one-to-one -one picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. I'm going to grab the camera in hand and then uh, I'll show you this here. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I've got this thing all unfolded. And like I said, I'm going to back up and back up. Here we go. So that's the whole thing. And there's another side to this. So I'll flip it over in a second. And this here, San Francisco too. So you get your lifeboat. And this is all one-to-one -one scale. So this is how big this thing is actually going to be. All right. And as you can see my hand, I mean... My hand is roughly the size of just the uh, stern, right? 
Anyways, it shows you the bow or the, the stern on this one here. We got the bow over here with the sails, how it should look. And then just some close-up pictures here, right? Of how this should look. And then there's that grading I was talking about. And the uh, the lifeboat, rowboat, whichever. Now we're going to take this thing. We're going to flip it over for you. In a second. Hopefully it don't make you too dizzy. I guess you could take this and put it up on the wall later. If you wanted to. But here we've got like the... Uh, the overhead shot of you know the complete deck and there's three levels there's this one this one this one and the, and the forward one all right and then we've got uh, uh the side shot of this and here i'll lift you up lift you up there you go almost all in there yeah and then of course it comes with these bonus men to put put in the, the ship somewhere all right and again this is a one-to-one -one scale so this is how big it's going to be all right I mean, even the men, I mean, look at the men compared to my finger. They're big enough, right? So I'm going to fold this up and then I'm going to come back. We're going to finish uh, talking about this ship. And I'm going to tell you what my thoughts are on what I want to do with this thing. So yeah, this is uh, pretty freaking cool. I think so anyways. I've never done a wood ship. Um... So it's going to be a whole new experience for me and for you guys, you know, if you want to watch this, which I'm hoping you do. Um, it's going to be a long enough series. I'm probably going to somewhat show every step and process of this thing because uh, I'm going to learn as I go, uh, maybe get help and tips from you guys, right? Uh, so the videos on this are going to be probably a little longer. Uh, I want to try and keep them with under an hour but you never know i might get carried away and just stuck in a moment so who knows right but my idea with this thing is yes it's a san francisco too okay but i'm more partial to the pirate ships i think everybody is right so what i'm thinking is pirates usually confiscated ships to be their ships right like they they didn't go out and buy them or commission somebody to build them a pirate ship right they they stole their ships so i'm thinking that i might try to somewhat convert this into a pirate ship so things like losing the medallions on the back right um the ones on the front uh dirtying things up quite a bit maybe even changing the color of it a bit um maybe a darker stain you know something like that and uh, kind of in the theme or the realm of the black pearl almost right okay we'll we'll darken up the sails probably lose all these flags um i don't know what kind of material they are if i could paint them and make a skull and crossbone flags or make my own flag or something you know something along that line so i'm thinking of turning this into a stolen san francisco 2 converted to a pirate ship right and I will end up making a short little video where I'm going to ask you guys to help me to do something. And I'm going I'm to give you a head start on here, but don't comment on this video of what I'm just about to talk about. You know, leave your comments and thoughts about this ship and my idea of turning it into a pirate ship. But I'm going to make a short video later on. And what I'm going to do is ask you guys to leave comments in that video of ideas of pirate ship names okay so i'm going to ask you i'm going to think of some so i want everybody to put a comment in that video that i'm going to make later on not in this one of a pirate ship name okay now i'm going to go through them after a certain amount of time and uh i'm going to pick probably the four best that i like one of them might be my own i don't know maybe i'll think of some and I don't like it compared to any of the other ones I've seen, you know. So I'm going to pick the four best that I like, okay. And then I'm going to put up a poll for everybody to vote on of those four best, okay. Now the winner of those names is the name I will give credit to the person that came up with that name. So in the videos, in the credits, something, somewhere, 
you know, this ship will be, sorry, I keep losing my train of thought. So somewhere in the videos of making this ship, I will have the name of the ship and who thought of the name. So basically it's kind of like, Hey, you know, say thanks to this person. They're the one that came up with the name and it was a majority rule that here's the name of the ship. So let me know what you think of that. Think if that's a good idea. If nobody thinks it's a good idea, well, then I won't do it. But I'll just think of my own name. But I kind of like it. And I want you guys involved with it. So let me know what you think of that as well. So uh, with all that being said, you know, again, thanks to all my subscribers. I love you guys so much. Uh, this channel wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys, right? And if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, hey, please hit that subscribe button. Definitely hit that bell button and make sure that all notifications are turned on so you don't miss out on any videos, especially something like this, or even the videos that my dad will end up doing at some point in time, right? And I'll make a special playlist for that, like I said. Uh, also, hey, you know, model ships like this, these wooden ones, they're not freaking cheap. So if you want to help out the channel in any way, I do have a PayPal me link down there in the description. And you can also check out the merch store that I have, right? You can pick up different styles of shirts, hoodies, uh, stickers, coffee cups, and I'm still designing more things. Maybe something with a ship on it. Who knows? But anyways, uh, yeah, so check them out. Give me a follow on my Instagram, my Facebook group. Links for them are down in the description as well. And uh, no matter what you get, what style of model, if it's plastic or wood, always push yourself to try something new. But never forget to build it your way. And until next time, later.